Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. So from this, we understand capital P is x into y minus z. Capital Q is y into z minus x. And capital R is z into x minus y. Now, to get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. And by substitution, we get dx by x into y minus z equal to dy by y into z minus x and equal to dz by z into x minus y. Now, using a proper Lagrange multiplier, we have to proceed. As a first part, we are going to use using Lagrange's multiplier. Let's take 1, 1 and 1. That is, whatever we have dx by x into y minus z equal to dy by y into z minus x equal to dz by z into x minus y. We have taken the multiplier 1. So we have to multiply that 1 with both numerator and denominator in each case. Now using the ratio property we are going to add all the numerators that gives dx plus dy plus dz the same way we are going to add all the denominators which is x into y minus z plus y into z minus x plus z into x minus y. Now the numerator is dx plus dy plus dz and this we are going to expand xy minus xz plus yz minus yx plus zx minus zy. So here we find xy minus xy minus xz plus xz yz minus yz gets cancelled and hence the total denominator is 0 here. So let's rewrite the step once again that is dx plus dy plus dz whole division 0. Again, as usual, let's take any two term. I am taking the first and last. So, what happens is, first term is dx by x into y minus z. That is equal to dx plus dy plus dz whole division 0. Now, by cross multiplication, this entire term will be multiplied by 0. So, we finally arrive dx plus dy plus dz equal to 0. Now, on integration, we get x plus y plus z equal to 0 and that is the integration constant c1. Now, we have to choose a another proper multiplier for this, again using the property of the ratio, we have to get 0, then only we can proceed. So now I am going to choose a multiplier 1 by x, 1 by y and 1 by z. So using Lagrange's multiplier. 1 by x, 1 by y and 1 by z. Let's copy this term first, dx by x into y minus z. We have dx by x into y minus z equal to dy by y into z minus x and dz by z into x minus y. Now, when we use this multiplier, I have to multiply with the numerator 1 by x and denominator 1 by x. In the same way, numerator 1 by y and denominator 1 by y. 
and here 1 by z and 1 by z. Now using the ratio property, I can add all the numerators which is 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz. Whole division, when I add this, when I take this x and x get cancelled, we have only one y minus z. The same way yy gets cancelled, we have only z minus x and zz get cancelled, we have x minus y. Now, finally, we find y minus y gets cancelled, z minus z, x minus x. So, everything gets cancelled and we get 0. So, this is 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz whole division 0. Now, let us take the first and the last term, this and this. First term, anyway, after getting cancelled this 1 by x, we left with only dx by x into y minus z. And on the other side, we have 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz whole division 0. Now, let us multiply this entire term with the 0. By cross multiplication, we get 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz equal to 0. And now when we integrate on both the sides, we get this as log x and this is log y and this is log z equal to 0 and there will be a constant. Let us take log c2. Using the log rule, log a plus log b plus log c is log of a into b into c. That is equal to log c2. By removing log on both the sides, we get x, y, z is equal to c2. Let us take the c1 as a. That is x plus y plus z is equal to a and c2 as b. x, y, z equal to b. Now, our general solution is in the form of f of a comma b equal to 0. We can name it as anything u comma v or a comma b or even c1 comma c2. Even we can take f of constant 1 constant 2 equal to 0, anything. And as per the terms we get, first term is f of x plus y plus z and the next term is x, y, z equal to 0. So, we got the general solution for the given partial differential equation.